For today, I'm serving you another nursing drug study about aspirin. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week, so don't miss it out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video for today we're going to have a thorough drug study of aspirin in order for me to do that i will switch back to my pc and i'll see you guys in a bit hi everybody welcome nga sa ating formal discussion ng yung aspirin nursing drug study yes in some point in your nursing life you will meet this guy in the area or in the pre-hospital setting you might as well get acquainted with this guy not just get acquainted but totally know and understand the concept of your aspirin now let me share to you our objectives for today we're gonna have classification generic brand name route and dose we're also gonna discuss about mechanism of action indications contraindications adverse effects nursing responsibilities of course and we're gonna have a short quiz all right let's begin classification generic and brand name including your route and dose of administration okay very simple yes aspirin belongs to the drug class salicylates generic name of course is aspirin you have two brand names you have your aspirin for from Bayer's, Manufacturers, and Empirin. The route is pretty much the same. There's only one route for aspirin. It's just oral, but two different doses. So you will administer 300 to 325 milligrams per ORM if you are given this as a blood thinner. This is actually the first line of medication sa mga MI, sa angina, sa chest pain. Now you need to ask your patient to chew. To not swallow, but chew. And then for treatment of headache, you're gonna give 500 milligrams every four hours to six hours. Mamaya mas aaralin natin yung indication. Mechanism of action ng yung aspirin. Well, it inhibits synthesis of prostaglandin and inflammatory reaction mediators. Antipyretic effect is through blocking prostaglandin mediators of pyrogenes. What are pyrogenes? This is the chemicals released by active white blood cells that cause increase in body temperature at the thermoregulator centers of hypothalamus. Aspirin at low levels can affect reduced platelet aggregation by inhibiting synthesis of thromboxane alpha, a potent vasoconstrictor that normally increases platelet aggregation and blood clot formation. On the other hand, at higher levels, it inhibits the synthesis of prostacycline, a vasodilator that inhibits platelet aggregation. What are the indications? Well, there's two. I list two here. You have as a blood thinner and for acute pain. Now, for acute pain, aspirin is similarly efficient as paracetamol on trivial acute pain. Example, the acute pain mo yung mga headaches, dental pain, or colds. However, it is also used for chronic states of pain. Example, for cancer patients, for other rheumatic diseases such as your chronic polyarthritis, osteoarthritis, etc. And for dysmenorrhea, aspirin is not as efficient or not as well tolerated as other prostaglandin synthesis inhibitors such as ibuprofen. In small doses, 330 to 300 milligrams per day of aspirin serves as the prevention of thromboembolic and it is used as well documented as a secondary prophylaxis for coronary heart disease. Naalala nyo yung sinabi ko kanina. After a myocardial infarction or bypass operation. Aspirin is also used after transient ischemic attacks and cerebrovascular accidents and for peripheral occlusive arterial disease. So, padaliin mo yung buhay mo. Nung gusto ko maalala mo dito, aspirin can be used for acute pain and blood thinner. Alright. What are the contraindication of your aspirin, you guys? Well, first, allergy to salicylates and SAIDs and tartrazine. Ano yung tartrazine you guys? Narinig nyo na to. Kung pamilyar ka sa food coloring, opponents ng yung food coloring. Okay? Ano pa? Bleeding abnormalities. Changes in platelet aggregation. Since aspirin is for a blood thinner, it can promote further bleeding. Now, impaired renal function. You need to understand that this drug is excreted through urine. So, you need to check renal function. If you have impaired renal function, how 
is the body will able to excrete this medication. Next, chicken pox or influenza. Risk of rise syndrome in children and teenagers. Surgery or other invasive procedure within one week because of what risk of increased bleeding. Pregnancy and lactation. Potential adverse effects on the neonate or mother. What are the adverse effects of your aspirin? Okay, isa isa natin yan, ha? GI problems. Nausea, dyspepsia, heartburn, epigastric discomfort are some of the adverse effects of your aspirin. Sa yung blood, you have blood loss, bleeding, abnormalities. Warning. Warning sign natin dito ang salicylism. This can occur with high levels of aspirin characterized by dizziness, ringing in the ears, difficulty hearing, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. This also involves mental confusion and lassitude. If you have a patient who is, um, you know, in aspirin therapy, you might want to observe for such signs like this because that will prompt you that your patient is having adverse effect of your aspirin. What you're gonna do is to report that to your physician. You need to check out for the warning signs of acute salicylate toxicity. This occurs at doses of 20 to 25 grams in adults or 4 grams in children. Signs include hyperpnea, tachypnea, hemorrhage, excitement, confusion, pulmonary edema, convulsions, tetany, metabolic acidosis, fever, coma, and cardiovascular, renal, and respiratory collapse. Guys, be mindful of the signs and symptoms, ha? Kasi ikokorolate natin yan sa ating nursing responsibilities. Eto na siya. Nursing responsibilities when giving out aspirin. Assess for contraindications or cautions. Example, history of allergy to salicylate and tartrazin, renal disease, bleeding disorders, pregnancy, and lactation. To avoid what? Adverse effects. Now, establish baseline physical assessment to monitor for any potential adverse effects. Assess for presence of skin lesions to monitor for dermatological effects. Monitor temperature to evaluate drugs effectiveness in lowering temperature. Evaluate central nervous system status to assess CNS effect of the drug. Bakit? Bakit kailangan evaluate yung CNS strat? Do you remember meron siyang dizziness pas nakoconfuse na ito hindi niya na alam kung nasaan siya kung sino siya hindi naman siya amnesia yung mga ganyan. Pwede mong ma, ma therefore conclude na yung pasyente is having or showing signs of salicylism. Okay? Monitor pulse, blood pressure, and perfusion to assess for bleeding effects of cardiovascular effects of the drug. Evaluate respirations and advantageous sounds to detect hypersensitivity reactions. Perform a liver evaluation and monitor bowel sounds to detect hypersensitivity reactions, bleeding, and GI effects of the drug. Monitor laboratory tests for CBC, liver and renal function tests, urinalysis, stool GIAC, and clotting times to detect bleeding or other adverse effects of the drug and changes in function that could interfere with the drug metabolism and excretion. Nursing intervention. Administer drug with food to elevate GI effects. Check all drugs being taken for possible salicylate ingredients to avoid toxic levels. Monitor for severe reactions to avoid problems and provide emergency procedure. Example ng mga emergency procedure mo ay gastric lavage, induction of vomiting, etc. Now, arrange for supportive care and comfort measures. Example nito, yung rest, environment control. To decrease body temperature or to elevate inflammation. Ensure patient is well hydrated during therapy to increase risk of what? Toxicity. Provide patient education about drug effects and warning signs to increase knowledge about drug therapy. At syempre, ang yung health teachings, you need to provide patient education about drug effects and warning signs to increase knowledge about drug therapy and to increase compliance to medication. Ay, tapos na tayo. Ready ka na ba sa ating short quiz? I will give you 10 items and 5 minutes to answer these questions. Pag pagbalik ko, sasagutan natin sila with rationale. Let's go! Okay, sagutan na natin sila. Number one question. Aspirin should be given to patient in how many doses? In short, tinatanong ko tayo. Gusto lang kitang tanongin dito kung alam mo yung doses niya kapag ang indication mo is MI. Ilan ang dose daw ang sagot? 300 to 325 milligrams per orem. Then you ask your patient to chew. Let her see. Number two, true or false? Aspirin has two indications, one of which is as a blood thinner related to sa question number one. The answer is true. Remember, what is the priority nursing action 
question prior to giving aspirin? Mm, anong sagot dito, you guys? The answer is letter A. Naalala nyo sa board exam kapag may sagot na assessment? Plus, hindi lang yun doon na aspirin is a blood thinner and put the patient in high risk for bleeding. Number four, a nurse is attending to a patient who is in ongoing aspirin therapy. What signs and symptoms will prompt the nurse that the patient is developing what? Salicylism. The answer is letter C. That's why you need to check your CNS status, right? Number five, the nurse understands that in administering aspirin, the drug should be given with food to what? What is the rationale? This is to prevent GI effects. Yes, because this could be irritating to the GI and can cause GI discomfort. Number six, true or false? Ay, typographical error po. True. At higher levels, aspirin inhibits the synthesis of prostacycline, a vasodilator that inhibits platelet aggregation. The answer is true. Number seven, the nurse should ensure the patient. Number seven, the nurse should ensure that the patient who is on aspirin therapy is well hydrated to ensure what? Decreased nephrotoxicity. Why? Ano to yan? Nire-release to uh, through urine. So, kailangan mo siya well hydrated actually during the therapy para ma-promote or ma-facilitate natin yung excretion through urine ng ating aspirin. Number eight, the nurse is reviewing the history of a patient who is newly admitted to the ward before carrying out the order of the doctor to start aspirin therapy. What information will prompt the nurse that aspirin therapy is contraindicated to the patient. Ang tanong dito, contraindication na aspirin. Alin dito ang contraindicated? The answer is letter A. Patient underwent appendectomy 7 days prior to admission. Why? Because for the risk of bleeding. Alright. Number 9. The nurse is caring for number 9. The nurse is caring for a patient who is on aspirin therapy. During his rounds, he noticed that the patient is having hyperpnea, tachypnea, confusion, and pulmonary edema. What should the nurse next action. Relay data to the attending physician. You don't just document because you know that this is the acute sign of toxicity. Number 10. True or false, the nurse should also evaluate CNS status to assess CNS effects of the drug. Of course, true. Alright, you guys, let me know how well you did on this um, uh, quiz. So once again, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational contents. Now, I also encourage you guys to check out the playlists i created for eu i'll be put just check out my channel it's all in there i also have other drug study and there i will create upcoming videos related to nursing pharmacology so if you have any suggestions any requests any lectures that you want us to do put it down in the comment section below okay and help me grow my channel spread the news spread the news share to your nursing friends itong ating lecture kasi nga review center sa youtube all right you guys you stay safe thank you so much you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one help me grow my channel you're ready here you might as well subscribe hashtag team Kuto. give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys think put them down in the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists i created for you by putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at neil gabby i'll see you again baby